it comes to sharing a haul with you guys, I don't necessarily have to always share something that is super expensive as opposed to something that is more affordable. So for me, a haul is something that is going to include things that I love, that I saw when I was out and I purchased. So just keep that in mind when I'm sharing things, it's things that I purchased that I actually like and think that it'd be something good for you to take a look into, especially if you're a tall girl. In this video, I'm gonna just share some of the things that I purchased. That Anything in this haul today is not gonna be uber expensive. I think everything is pretty much affordable. Uh, maybe with the exception of one thing, I still don't think it's high comparing it to some other things that I've seen out there, other prices. So in this video, I'm just going to share a few things that I purchased to add to my closet. So the first thing I want to share is what I got from good old Chanel. Now, maybe a couple of years ago, I went to the Miami district, went to the Chanel store, bought a nice brooch which I don't wear it enough because it's big and I, I hate the hole that it puts in my clothes but I absolutely love it. I bought a brooch from there and they had some perfume and I never got it because I was traveling on a plane and I already knew they were gonna be like, you can't take it. So I was in the mall the other day and happened to pass the Chanel counter. I needed some new um, mascara, which I'll show you guys that as well. This is the Lay Volume. You guys can see that love this mascara now it does come with well it doesn't come with it but you can also get the, the uh, base for it it's like a white uh, version of this and you put that on you put this on after and it makes it look a little bit longer but I just got this today so I got this from Chanel but what is new is my perfume this is the Chanel Riviera so here's what happened I wanted to get some new perfume. I was thinking about Kaylee, but I really didn't want to spend a ton of money that day. And I walked back past the Chanel counter and something just smelled really good. So the young lady said, you know, these are kind of, they're not new, but she's like, here, here's some new fragrances that you may like. So it was like three that I like, but she said, I don't know, basing it off of my outfit that I had on, she asked me where was I from? And I said, New York, I'll pop in a photo of what I had on. You guys seen it already, but I was very relaxed. And she says, I think Riviera would be for you. She's like, you just look like the type of girl that if I saw walking, this was what you would smell like. <laughs> when I smelled the other one and I said, oh my God, it's so true. Cause it's more of like a, I don't wanna use the word mature, but it's definitely more classic in scent. For sure it has like a floral scent from what I remember, but let me just kind of dig in here and show you guys the bottle. It doesn't, it's not the typical Chanel bottle that you see for like the chance and stuff. It looks like this. Nice, simple bottle, classic. Can you guys see? I know it has like silicone orange and neroli and it has like a floral scent. Let me just pull it open. Yeah, like I already put on perfume, but let me just spritz it. Oh, I'm gonna spritz it on the side. Yeah, this is me. This is like, it's giving like the silicone orange I smell. It smells florally florally like a little bit like it has floral in it but this is this is a nice dare I say rich girl fragrance okay um but this is new in my in my closet so new in my perfume collection I am looking for something to put all of my perfume on to kind of layer it and if you guys know of anything please comment below I think there's something on Amazon of course I just don't know exactly what it's called. With that purchase, she did give me something for free, like a free free uh, gift, which I didn't even open yet. So I'm opening it with you guys to see exactly what it is. Probably like some lotion or something. Oh, just some, okay. Let's see what's in here. So this is the, some sort of cream, but it doesn't say, it doesn't say what type of cream this is. But it does say sub sublimage. Um, it might be because it's saying smooth. It might be something to just put on your face. 
yeah but just some gifts got that she also gave me looks like some, some perfume yeah the chance um i don't know what this is what the heck is this oh eyelash primer and then is this a small lid volume this is the other one and oh and look at look at this guys a cute little a kind of like a little necklace I think I'm gonna put this on today you can't see because it it's like the the Chanel chameleon okay very cute very 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 cute all right so let's get on to the other thing that she gave me she also gave me a uh it's kind of like a big chameleon I think that's what it's called you can't even see it but she sprayed it with perfume and you just kind of like sit it somewhere and it just smells up the whole place just a little thing okay so that's that from Chanel the other thing in here is just my <laughs> my keels you guys have seen that before I needed some while I was running out. Let's get into the other goodies that I got um, from some of the stores, which are clothes. So that's the Chanel stuff. Okay. All right, so the next thing I got is this mango vest. It's just a long vest. It's a part of their party collection, but it also says prom collection. I don't know why. Uh, it has like a slight, I guess you can say um, linen feel to it, but not so much, like a blend. It has shoulder pads. It has a really nice, kind of like hourglass shape on it. You guys will see it when I pop it in. A nice little hourglass shape to it. It was $129. Here's the thing. You guys know a lot of the stores now are charging for bags. And I am trying to get to the point where I find nice bags to take shopping with me because mango charge 20 20 cents for this little i don't even know where the bag is at it's such a cheap bag 20 cents i think that's more than zara but 20 cents i just don't understand this whole thing about bags what they should do is instead of having paper bags get the cloth bags make people purchase those because you're gonna you, you're essentially throwing 20 cents in the garbage like they're trying to save but the consumer is wasting 20 cents Maybe they can get like mango kind of like ikea but not that material maybe <laughs> um and a lot of other stores don't charge for bags and if they do i don't notice it but 20 cents i think is a bit much however i'm not gonna take away from the actual vest i really like it they do have a lot of other like kind of vests right now that are really nice if you're a tall girl you can wear the vest but you can't wear the pants if you're smart you would buy the pants and get your tailor to cut them into like some shorter some, some shorter some sort of like knickers and wear that as a nice outfit with some nice sandals i think that's pretty cute if you want the entire outfit but the pants are definitely not going to fit us but there is a hack for that and that is taking it to your tailor and having them cut the pants into some shorts okay guys so that's the first item this nice i guess ivory color what are they saying white a uh, long vest from mango now we do have a mango in store like an actual location here in, in atlanta now uh but it does have i'm not even gonna say atlanta because that's like dunwoody it does have a lot of workwear looks like to me um i feel like when you go online you see a little bit more but they do have a men's section and they do have a woman's section if you're not super tall like me and you are average height you can definitely go in there and get you some really nice classic pieces if that is your style if it's not you can probably go in there and get like one or two pieces like i did the other thing that i purchased was from h&m now if you know me you know i don't really do h&m i don't like the quality of their stuff back in the to have like an occasion like pop up of a specific designer to come out have share their stuff in the stores with us and this stuff was nice and i believe it was called conscious nice nice things but the quality was top tier 
So this dress, which was very, very, very affordable, $24.99. <laughs> it's like an oversized cream color, like, I don't know, I don't want to say baby doll, like McMitty dress. Now again, for reference, I'm six feet tall. And in the store, I was like, this is probably gonna fit me exactly where I want it to be, not too short. And it did. Um, so if you look in the video, I have it on with a pair of flat slides in a bag but I know for sure that I'm probably gonna wear this with like a straw hat when I go on vacation so it's a thin dress and that's my issue with H&M that some of the stuff is like rather thin but in this case it's gonna work because if I'm on the beach or something like that I don't have to worry about being hot they have something else similar and that has a different material so that dress I may not be able to wear it on the beach, but they also have like the same style. So dresses like this, I would say you want to just grab up. They're affordable. I wouldn't wear them on like a day to day because they're not like super thick and they kind of, you can kind of see through them a little bit to me, <laughs> um, but you can probably wear like Spanx or something under it so they won't see like your actual undies. But very, very affordable. I thought it was very cute. It fits my frame as a six foot tall girly. Um, and I, I like it. I think it's cute just enough to wear on a vacation now as far as the how it's going to hold up because of the quality of it i don't know i would say maybe after two wears if i do not put it in the dry cleaners it may not last long if i do it may last longer so kind of use that when you are looking at the dress if you like something like this and again it was $24.99 girls <laughs> and the last three pieces that I got I got them all from Koss and you guys know Koss is a sustainable brand um, I want to say it's a branch off from H&M but their stuff is nice and it but it's very like streamlined nothing like too uh stylish meaning different from your classic pieces uh i got a pair of denim shorts from them and i got this long it's a dress linen like short sleeve dress the dress is oversized actually the dress that i got from h&m was actually an oversized fit as well and i got that in a size did i get that in a large i got that in a large this dress i also got in a size 10 because the 12 was like super big and I, I'm thinking maybe I could wear 12 but no it was too big because it's oversized and this is still actually pretty big if you look I want to wear this either by itself um I, mean, I don't know I, it, it's, it's a very like boxy dress so I have to have something that's going to add a little bit of dimension to it so maybe if I don't wear it by itself I'm going to wear it exactly how I have it in the video which is with a pair of shorts and some slides and a nice little hat and keeping it chill this is also something that i will take on like a vacation because it is lightweight and it's linen if you don't have linen girls i don't know what you're doing because nobody's trying to sweat when it comes to this hot weather guys so the shorts is also from them as well and i got those in a size 32 i have to take them in slightly in the back but they do fit my legs and my thighs so that's perfect for me i needed another pair of shorts because the shorts that i had from zara child your girl got a little bit chubby down there which is crazy so those are the two pieces that i got from cos and the other thing is i got a pair of earrings and i'll show you a slight little video on that too but i'm gonna pull them out here i got some earrings and they are a brass 100 brass like silver now they're recycled brass the price of these were 49 but the good thing about these guys is that they are clippings, honey. Can you see? I don't even know if you guys can see that. They clippings. Clippings are cool. The other thing is that they are not the same shape. So it's like, it's called like a mismatch um, earring set. Really, really nice. And they have like this pretty cool cushion on it. So it's not like on your ear, like hurting. I think I have about two different pairs of, um, uh, oh yeah, right here. I think I have like two different pairs of clip-on earrings because they're kind of heavy, which are my pearl earrings that have like the dangly from David, not David, Ben Ammon, and then now these. But these are really nice. 
50 bucks, I don't know if it's worth the 50 bucks. <laughs> However, I do like them a lot. I actually was gonna get them like a few weeks ago, but I put them back. Um, but I don't own like a ton of silver accessories. You know what, let me just put them on to show you guys how they look on my ear. I should have did that the first time, right? <laughs> let me show y'all. <laughs> And like I said, they're just like a, a clip-on. I can't even see. See, they're like a big, they're cute. Mm-hmm, I got these little pieces hanging at the side, so you probably really can't see it. Okay. And again, they do have like different, oh shoot, hold on. I gotta pull it all the way up. I'm trying not to clamp my... Okay, all right, there you go. They cute. Okay, girls. <laughs> I like them a lot. Yeah, if you don't want anything like too like big on, uh, well, anything too heavy on your ears, go for clippings. They do have a ton of nice earrings out there. Um, like I said, Ben Ammon has nice uh, clip-on earrings, the pearl earrings. Um, I want to say, does she have clip-ons? Mm, I was going to say Valerie. She may or she may not have a, a clip-ons, but definitely check out Ben Ammon. I love their stuff. Um, really nice. And their stuff is made to order, so it does take a little while to get to you. Um, but those are that's everything that I got for this small little haul, guys. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to share a ton of stuff or just go out just to buy stuff just to share it. You can, but if you are like me and don't have a ton of space, <laughs> you want to get things that actually are going to be worn. And that's actually going to fit your wardrobe aesthetic, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little haul. And thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.